That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. I think we need a stronger colonial government, with or without it. Now it's the wardrobe, the monster's will see I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes.
What's on your mind, Captain? I'm Give me some speed! Hold down and clue up! Some sort of out! Let's go! Spread our wings to the wind! Riders and tops! Clues down! Catch some wind! Get 
Get the maids free. All sail. She'll take it. Douse the garlands and royals. Let out some sail. We're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated nowadays. Yes. Yes. The army will melt it down and turn it into weapons. War is upon us. So, Master Franklin, what is this? A laden jar. It temporarily stores power in the form of vitreous and resinous electricity. Really? What will you do with the jar when it is full? Ah, what will I do with all my jars? For this experiment, we will need an entire energy storage system. The many units fire at once. So I call it a battery. It should make your interpretation box operate. Fascinating.
not sure you're seeing things, but I'll take a look. Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storms get worse. Better hurry back to Franklin. Can't help it. I've got a soldier's blood, I suppose. You expect any sane man to believe you?
India Company wishes to announce the new era. <laughs> Shay, thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Near Mount Vernon. Hope to be expecting me. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. Uotibi offerimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis fiet potus spiritalis. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Gratia Domini Nostri Iesu Christi et Caritas Dei et Comunicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit cum omnibus vobis. 
or sight. What do we have here? The artifact.
do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. 